Okay, we're going to take a look at a schematic designed with iCircuit on the iMac or the iPad of an SCR tester that I built. I made a short video of the SCR testing large power block testers and a lot of people requested this circuit. When I built this circuit, I just put it in a simulator to make sure it would work and then to get my resistances and voltages right. So basically the way it works right here, I used a 48 volt power supply. It's just what I had laying around. You could use 24, you could use any number. But this is what I used. That's the power supply, that's just a kill switch. Here's an LED that just indicates that this is on. That you have power. This is a variable resistor, 500 ohm max. Another variable resistor, 1000 ohm max. You turn it on, you have power. Your LED indicates that you, you do have power. Right now you've got an indicator LED for your SCR gate. If you have enough current that passes through the gate, this LED will turn on. If you don't have enough current, you have to adjust this knob here. We also have enough current to go through the SCR to keep it latched. I'm going to kill that right now. If you didn't have enough current, it actually would not, uh, this LED would not stay lit. So you have two variables here. You vary the amount of current that goes through the gate to turn this on, and then you vary the amount of current that actually goes through the SCR to stay on. So we're going to trigger it. If this would not trigger, I would have to add more current by lowering the resistance here. These resistors, I don't know if I even really put those on. That, that was just so somebody could not accidentally short it out make it dead short, but I don't recall if I actually installed those when I built it or not. So if we trigger the gate, that lights up, telling you that current is, is flowing through the gate back to the power supply. This one lights up, letting you know current's going through there. We're going to break that. And then you can vary these. So let's let's go ahead and do that right now. I circuit's pretty handy. I haven't used it in several years. I've actually got to go ahead and get familiar with it again just to make this video. Okay, that still works. Let's go. Let's do this. Ah, that's not what I want. Yes, I can just do that. Let's try that. Okay, so now you see as I hold the gate down, there's enough current going through the gate to light it up. And while I hold it down, there's enough current going through the SCR to light this LED up, but it won't latch. And that really just depends on, on what you're holding current of your SCR is. This particular one I set up at a holding current of 200 and a trigger current of 100 milliamps. So in order to get this one to work I would have to adjust this back and find out what amount it will stay latched at. Should work now. Nope. Okay, there we go. Alright, in any event, I'll throw some photos of the actual tester on. You'll see these are just dial knobs. These are just indicator LEDs. And it's not really for small SCRs. There's, there's a lot of products on the market to test those, but the large power blocks there's not much on the market, so I went ahead and built this thing.
this eye circuit it's it's pretty cool like I said I actually designed this on the iPad and tested it before I built it just in just in case I made a mistake so it, it's kind of handy for that because you can make you can make a little oversight or error this way you can test it it's not for overly complex circuits but it does have all your basics it's got the SCRs you can change the parameters on same thing with the resistors the switches you can you can change what kind this is going to be momentary which I don't really need that we'll take a look at some other other designs I came up with that I didn't actually build as well